Our next inductee is former men's basketball standout Elisha McSweeney. After spending two years at Miami Dade Community College, it didn't take long for the six foot six inch native of NASA on the Bahamas to make an impact in Mankato. As exciting a player ever to perform in the North Central Conference, Elisha assaulted the record book, establishing school, single season scoring and rebounding marks. He also broke the league's long standing conference record for both points and field goals and he ranked second in the country with a 27.8 points per game average. Elisha helped lead MSU to the NCC title in 1975-76, his senior season. He still owns school records for rebounds in a game, single season rebounds per game, and career rebounds average, and his 157 free throws made in 1974-75 ranked second on MSU's single season list. Selected by Cleveland in the 10th round, 171st overall in the 1976 NBA draft, Elisha played professionally in the Eastern Basketball Association and in Puerto Rico following conclusion of his collegiate career. Elisha created a tremendous amount of excitement in the North Central Conference when he played, said Butch Raymond, who recruited uh, Elisha to MSU, by the way. He was a force, an explosive leaper, and a lot of people who saw him play to this day remember him. He was a tremendous offensive player, the best offensive player I ever coached. His senior year, which was Gene Glynn's first year, we won the North Central Conference title, and it increased the level of the program. He became a close friend and teammate with Gene, of course, and they made a dynamic duo. He was injured in practice the week of the NCAA tournament and was not 100% for the tournament when we played UW-Green Bay, unfortunately. A game we lost in overtime. Offensively, Elisha could do it all. Score inside, outside, there wasn't a better rebounder. Elisha, with this introduction, it is our honor. Tonight, we formally induct you as a member of the Minnesota State University Athletics Hall of Fame. Congratulations. <laughs>